Hello, my name is Christophe Laving. I am Vice President of Engineering for Glassman Boats. Today, I'm going to present you the rebirth, the reintroduction of Glassman Jet Boat. We have a very interesting story at Glaston. A year ago, we have introduced the first GT180 OBs. Very interesting, beautiful boats. A few months later, we introduced the GT185 Stun Drive, available on Volvo Penta and Mercruiser engines. And this year, we are introducing for the first time a jet boat in the recreational industry, the GT187, using Rotax technology to push a very exciting GT boat. The GT180, 185 and 187 have been designed with the same philosophy. Slick look, very iconic designs, beautiful details, embedded spears in the sides, custom windshield. You know, all the GT features are designed on this 180 series. The GT187 is designed exactly like the GT180 or 185. From the front, the dash, the windshield, the captain chair, the floor, ski lockers, from that point to that point, same boat. The back is different. Jet engine system give us more opportunities to lower the back of the boat. It's a smaller engine, uh, more compact, more powerful for certain applications, but most important, very, very low. So we could design a completely new concept in the back. Being compact give us the opportunity to lower the back of the seats. We have a nice passage molded in fiberglass and two extra large seats. Same concept, we tilt it down, very comfortable, a lot of foam as you can see to ease the comfort and the idea is really to enjoy the back of the boat, being very close to the lake, very close to the waters, looking at the kids, being able to sit on the swim platform, attach your uh, wakeboard. This is really the back of the boat is very different and much more friendly thanks to the low profile engine system. On a stunt drive boat, you need all the surfaces to be covered uh, by uh, a sun pad in order to accept the engine side. This is a must. So that's a good feature for sun pad, but on a jet boat, you can lower the, boat, the back of the boat significantly, add seats, add a passage, and make the back of the boat more friendly for sport, for entertainment, for uh, swimming, uh, to hang around with the kids. It's definitely a big difference on the jet side. So we redesigned the back of the boat to enhance uh, the access to the lake. A couple of things, very low profile swim platform. The shape of the swim platform has been studied to not interfere with the wake of the boat so we can enhance wake surfing. The low profile swim platform is used to install uh, your wakeboard, your skis, you're very close to the lake. You have an integrated swim platform, a good step up, and then you can go inside the boat without walking into any cushion. Here we go, we are on the engine room of this uh, Glastron GT187. Very good insulation, sound insulation. We want to reduce sounds and vibration as much as we can. You have a gutter system here with some gasket. We trap the water extremely well so we can drain any remaining waters outside the boat. The engine room is all molded in fiberglass. It's pretty compact and pretty well steady with storage on each side. You have cylinders to lift it up. We have today on this prototype number one, a Rotax 250 horsepower, linked with the BRP turbine system, jet system. This is a very compact system, very efficient, very low profile, and that gives us the opportunity to design the back of the boat the way we did. We are thrilled to be able to bring this jet technology back into our glass front boats with a new design and a new concept. They were very good systems used in the 60s and 70s, and now we are back in 2013, 2014 with a jet technology and the new Glassman 187. So I think it's time to go for a ride. So here we go. We are on this uh, Glassman GT 187 with the Rotax 250 horsepower. Very simple, a wheel, a control. The only thing you need to do, go forward. All right, we're on plane in two seconds. Very fast, very simple, very easy. The handling is really good. The boat turn on the spot. The acceleration is really 